today's video is going to be... <laughs> I had an Alani new um, like 30 minutes ago and I was about to go work out. And then I said, oh my god, no, I have to film a video. So I, I did this instead. And I'm like, shit, I just had 200 grams of caffeine. For what? I'm gonna work out after this video. No, I'm not. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a get ready with me, let's try out new products, let's talk some crap, let's get into it. Bitty bitty ma oh my god. I have to tell you guys, I have to tell you guys, I'm about to put my friend Michelle on blast like so much. <laughs> I'm just getting started. L let me say this first. <laughs> so I bought this from Sephora the other day. This is the Rich Bitch Protect and Prime Serum Base. It is the new primer from Freck Beauty and I'm so mad because I bought this and then like three days later they launched like a cream contour and now I have to go buy that as well because it looks really good. <laughs> but anyway, I've been seeing them post about this on their Instagram and it looks like a very sticky, very interesting. Oh, oh my god. Very sticky. That's disgusting. Oh. I don't even, I don't even, oh my god. I don't. Just gonna put it on. Hopefully it's one of those nice sticky primers that just like <laughs> your foundation on. It's weird because you know what? It doesn't feel like the Milk Makeup like gripping primer or the e.l.f. Power Grip that's also sticky but that's like see-through and that's like <laughs> sticky if that makes sense. This is just like stringy. This is just like bodily fluid like but not so much like sticky. Honestly it just feels like a moisturizer with a little bit of grip grip to it. I don't really know how to explain it but it's supposed to protect and prime and it's a serum kind of primer so Let's see. I'm gonna go in with my favorite Holy Grail foundation just so I can really see how this primer performs. And that would be the Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint. Always on Radiant Skin Tint. I seriously love this so much. I think it's my summer shade, which... Eh, it's a little bit deeper than my skin tone currently, but it's good. Oh my gosh, I was watching. Oh my god, Michelle. <laughs> so listen to this, listen to this. I have a group chat with my social media girls and we were talking about how they're calling Hailey Bieber Yolanda, which is so crazy. <laughs> People are so next level. Anyway, so they keep referring to her as Yolanda, right? And we were talking about it in the chat and we're like, oh my gosh, people are going too, too far calling her Hailey Yolanda, that's wild. And Michelle straight up, mind you, Michelle is 28 years old, okay? She's a Latina, she's Cuban like me, okay? Latina. She straight up in the chat goes, who's Yolanda? We were all like, what? What do you mean who's Yolanda? My whole social media team is Hispanic. <laughs> Anai is Mexican, Annie is Cuban. Like, we, we were all Hispanic and we were like, what are you talking about? What do you mean who's Yolanda? And she's like, yeah, is that like the Hispanic version of Karen? I shit you not, my jaw was on the floor. So then, of course, we were like, no, bro, Yolanda, the lady who murdered Selena. And she says, Wait, Selena was murdered? I was like, this is a joke, right? She didn't know the story of Selena. I was like, have you not seen a Selena documentary before? I mean, like, have you not even seen like the movie? Even though I know we don't like that JLo played Selena and I know there's a lot of feelings there, but like, we all know that movie, right? We've all seen it. I'm gonna try out two different concealers today. So I just got both of these in PR and I have been seeing so many concealers launch recently. This is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Dark Spots Concealer and Serum. It has niacinamide, you know, that, that, that word, that ingredient that people like, hyaluronic acid, it's got that, and it's got caffeine. Ooh, I love that. I love when my concealer has caffeine. It's supposed to give you like a natural finish um, and it has buildable medium coverage. I'm gonna try that concealer on this side and then on this side, I'm gonna try the new Physicians Formula Butter Glow Concealer. I have a lot of Physicians Formula Butter stuff to try today. I used to love the, I still love the butter bronzer so much, but they came out with like some more butter stuff. So we're gonna try it out. But this one is just supposed to be like a glowy concealer. And funny enough, they both have like a brush on the end. And so does the Urban Decay Quickie Concealer. This like, Esta cosita se está usando. It says uh, coming into style. Just like that Maybelline under eye eraser is like coming back. It's getting trendy. We love her. But look, there's like a little sponge on this one. I can imagine that. This sucks, this sponge. <laughs> but anyway, okay, let's test this out one eye at a time. So yeah, anyway, after every single person in that group chat gave Michelle a crazy lecture, Anai, it was so funny, Anai's like, wait a second, when and how did you think she died then? Michelle straight up goes, I don't know, I thought she died of old age. 
She thought she died of, oh, this is an interesting little wand. I like it, it's cute. She thought she died of old age, like if she just like stopped taking pictures or something. I could not believe it. I was like, how have you lived 28 years without knowing the evil that is Yolanda? Like that rocked the world. Like you're a fake Latina, Michelle. I could not believe it. I hope she's not mad at me for telling the story. <laughs> By the way, I have mine in the shade Fair Warm. Fair Warm? Warm? What's happening? I felt like I was saying that word weird. That word weird. Ooh, this actually has really nice coverage. At first when I started to apply it, it felt really, really thin. And I was like, oh, the coverage is gonna be, you know, kind of sheer, which I don't mind. But as you blend it out, it really maintains that coverage, which is interesting. I really like that. Cause usually sheer serum -y concealers don't have that much coverage. That looks really nice. <laughs> that reminds me of that TikTok sound. What is it? She's really nice. Emily? What? Oh no, Emily, I liked her. She's really, right? I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. All right, so that is the It Cosmetics concealer. You can see, really nice, good coverage. Let's try out the Butter Glow concealer in the shade Light to Medium. Oh my God, I was just watching the Bryce Hall episode um, of the H3 podcast. I was dying laughing so hard at this episode oh my god ethan is ruthless bro he is so wild and i always feel uncomfortable talking about this podcast to other people because it's one of those podcasts that like you had to have been a fan for like a while now to even understand what the hell is going on on that podcast like if you were like oh my god kathleen i really want to get into h3h3 i'm gonna start watching them i'd be like it's too late. Weird shit goes on over there, weird shit. But, oh my God, the, I don't know if anybody watches it, if any of you guys watch the H3 podcast, but that whole Ryan Kavanaugh conversation, oh my God. Oh my God, I was dying, he is so funny. Just completely brutal. And honestly, I always want somebody to talk to about the podcast, but only two people in my life watch it, and it's Jesse and Gabby, and nobody else seems to understand. Okay, so this is the Physician's Formula Butter Concealer. They're really, you really can't tell a big difference. They both kind of have like a semi-glowy, natural finish. The Butter Concealer is a little bit dewier, and it has a little bit less coverage. The It Cosmetics one, it's a little bit more natural, but a little bit more coverage. I kind of like this one more. In fact, I'm gonna put some on the other side. You know what I am noticing? By the way, I completely forgot to hit record again. I added concealer to my T-zone, and then I went into my <laughs> Disco Fox palette and put later days all over my lid and on my lower lash line, and that's as far as I've gotten. But I am noticing that my foundation looks a little bit dewier than it normally does. Like when I use my Tower 28 serum as the primer. With the Rich Bitch, it is definitely a glowier base. I can feel like the serum-y vibes. You know, it's nice, it feels nice. Just wanted to say that so you can keep that in mind. <gasps> Una cana. Yo, I know they tell you not to pluck out your gray hairs, but a bitch stays plucking them all day, every day. I'm gonna do the world's uh, easiest eye look, as you can imagine. It's not a tutorial today, okay? I, my heart is about to come out of my chest. It is racing. <laughs> I'm gonna do a really simple uh, matte halo eye. I'm gonna go into boogie shoes and apply that to my crease. But I'm kind of leaving the center bare, whereas with later days, I put that shit everywhere. <laughs> oh my god, can I say something about the whole like Michaela lash drama situation? I wanna be her. I wanna have her approach at life. <laughs> Because man, I was really worried for a second there that she wasn't doing well mentally because when it rains, it pours and when the internet like piles on top of you and shits on top of you constantly, constantly, it creates like more people to shit on you and then people start to bring up things that have nothing to do with like the lash thing to begin with. I thought things were being taken too far and people were being like really, really nasty. And then she comes back and pretty much shuts everybody up. She pretty much told everybody to suck a pee pee. And honestly, that's pretty impressive. I gotta say, I was impressed. Because it takes balls. <laughs> and man, I got, I got those. I got those. I got those. Dude, I even saw the other day, she did like a makeup tutorial, and she was like, and of course, it wouldn't be a Michaela mascara video if I didn't use my super Michaela combo. And she pulls out the telescopic mascara and false lashes. She's like, 
<laughs> the Michaela combo. My jaw dropped. I'm like, oh, she's good. She told everybody, I don't give a shit. Now I'm gonna take your so vein on the outer corners and a little bit on the inner corners. Like some people are truly made for social media and made for the internet and she is one of them. Like she got this, she got this. I did not get this. <laughs> I, can I mess up those lips and that? <laughs> did I say we were doing a halo eye? Yeah, I'm not doing that. Clearly I'm not doing that. We're going for Natasha Denona Smokey. Anyway, yeah. I just wanted to mention that because I thought it was quite funny. Quite, quite funny. Man, I need to watch a good show on Netflix or on Amazon or on anywhere. Please let me know. I watched The Last of Us like in a day and I can't seem to find anything else. I saw White Lotus. That was really freaking good. So, so good. Oh my God. I'll watch anything that Theo James is in straight up. Anything. But I want something else. I want something good like that. Of course, both HBO shows, HBO kills it. It is raining cats and dogs outside um, and the sky is black. So if my lighting is off, I apologize. I'm taking my Amakiyaj Longwear Eye Pencil in Super Trooper and I'm just gonna lightly line my upper line. I can't do a full wing because mama has had way too much caffeine and I will mess that up, guaranteed. Just gonna do a little line like that. And then of course, a little copa on the inner corners. Okay, let's test out this Butter Glow stuff. So they came out with their Butter Glow Liquid Bronzer and Butter Glow Liquid Highlight. I'm very excited for both of these, honestly. And they also have their Butter Glow Pressed Powders. This one is Translucent Glow and this one is Natural Glow. And I've actually been using this one as like a blush topper. It's really, really pretty. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna take a little bit of my Makeup by Mario Sculpting Stick and I'm gonna contour the skin a little bit because this does seem like a more sheer, liquid, glowy kind of bronzer and I just want to lay down some color first okay I'm gonna take some on the back of my hand and start to blend that on the skin I'm gonna kind of put this everywhere. Mmm, this smells so good. <laughs> it definitely has that butter bronzer scent for sure. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have put on the, the bronzer underneath because you can't really tell the difference, but there is a difference. <laughs> like you can see on my hand, it's definitely a more sheer, not shimmery, but there's definitely a dewiness to it, like a golden glowy dewiness. It just leaves the skin a little bit more you can see it's a little bit more glowy and it feels like so wet. <laughs> like it's very, very liquidy versus like something like this that's a bit more creamy. This is a liquidy. This definitely has me glowing. I'm gonna pop on a pinch of cream blush. I'm gonna throw on the Tower 28 blush in Magic Hour. Just a little pinch to give some sort of color to the cheeks. love that blush. I got it in like a little um, like beach care package PR thing the other day and I'm like, that blush is stunning. Okay, let's test out the liquid highlight. It definitely seems to be more dewy and less metallic. Like it's gonna give you more of a wet glow versus a metallic glow. which I do really like for the summer. Sometimes those metallic highlights, even though they look really highlighty, like and strobe they can tend to emphasize your dry skin. This has more of like a gel consistency. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry if you hear the weather. This has more of a gel consistency, but of course it's a little bit more natural than those other liquid highlights. Definitely a more natural 
finished. If I had to pick one of the two, I definitely would go with the bronzer. It's pigmented, it's sheer, it's glowy, it's really, really beautiful, and it still gives you that highlighting effect. This is really nice, like it's really, really nice, but it might be a little bit too natural for some people. I don't know, you let me know. I'm gonna add a little more blush, because that highlight took it away a little bit. Okay, I do have a, quite a bit of dew going on. I'm like very, very highlighty. A lot of it, I think, has to do with this Rich Bitch Primer. But then I also have like a bunch of glowy products on top. So I'm going to take my Kosas Cloud Set Powder and Airy with my little puff guy, my Beauty Blender Puff. And I'm going to set my under eyes really quick. I'm not going to add too much powder. Usually I'm like... Not today, not today. We're just adding a light layer of this just to take away like the excess shine even though i love being shiny but you know so like i said i have been using the natural glow powder as like a blush topper and it's really really pretty look it's like a really pretty rose gold sheen really stunning perfect for the summertime but i'm going to apply <laughs> their translucent powder just a little bit like all over my face because it gives you a very soft glow. I know I already have a lot of glow going on, but this powder is nice to like set the glow while maintaining the glow still. Not necessarily like the best powder to like set your makeup with or anything, but it's a very, very soft, barely there sheen. Where, where was I showing you? Who was I showing this to? I'm like, yeah, it's the powder. Okay, I have been wanting to talk about the new Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Liners. They are the Extreme Lip Shapers. Oh my God, I have been waiting. I have been waiting for a product like this to come out forever. The Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip Glosses are my favorite, like lip plumping glosses to ever exist. They are the most painful, the most plumping. They're amazing, they're wonderful, I love them. And when I saw that they came out with plumping lip liners, I nearly lost my mind because I have little lips and I love to overline my lips and make them look plump. And these have been doing that for me, baby. These have been doing that for me. I really, really like it. However, what is that? What is that? Huh? You tell me, what is that? Because I have been wearing this lip liner for like four days straight. Two different colors. I've been going between post-op pink and puffy nude. And I've got a little something there. I've got like a little pimple. I've got like a, what looks like to be like a cold sore growing and I'm not like a cold sore kind of gal. Like I don't really get those. And it's a little itchy. I'm telling you, it's this freaking lip liner. I think the plumping, I love that you don't have to, like I love that you do that. Only be careful because you can't put it back down. Don't, too much. But okay, I'm gonna go in with puffy nude. Even though I totally have an allergic reaction to this. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Just please be very careful when you are using it. Like. Just be careful. Going in with Puffy Nude to make my lips puffy. And let me tell you, it stays all day. Like, the formula's really nice, it lasts all day, they're creamy. You know, they're just giving me a rash, which is fine, okay, I can, I can handle it. They smell really good. Honestly, I, I really like these. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit of post-op pink and put it on top, because I like the combination. The burn is so good. <laughs> Stings so good. Look at that, look how plump. Okay, so this is actually another new product from their butter collection, I think. Even though it doesn't say anything about butter, it like came in the PR package. But this is the Physicians Formula Diamond Last Mineral Wear Lip Cream in the shade Topaz Taupe. I'm gonna apply that on top. This is a good trick to do when you wanna minimize the burn. If it's like, oh, too much, it's never too much for me. But if you are like, ah, oh, it's too much, put your lipstick on top and it goes away. And this formula is really nice. Like it dries kind of velvety. It's a liquid lipstick without being drying. I like it. Okay guys, that's it. I really, really like this look. Something about like this blush and this lip combo, I really, really like it. And Boogie Shoes is kind of like a pinky kind of brown, so I love this like monochromatic look. But yeah guys, that completes this video. What even was this video? I was supposed to sit here and talk about like a bunch of different topics and I feel like I didn't. I wanna do another one of my mukbang videos where I'm just sitting, eating, and talking crap with you guys because usually I don't get distracted by all the pretty makeup when I do that. But yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye on on this little guy. I'm gonna keep an eye on this. I am 99.9% .9 sure 
the lip liner gave it to me, but we'll see. It's not gonna stop me from wearing it. But yeah, anyway, I like a lot of the stuff I tried out today, but I think my favorite product was the It Cosmetics Concealer. I really liked how natural it looked, but still gave me so much coverage. So I'm very excited for that, but I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this uh, primer just yet. If there's anything here that you guys have tried that you have an opinion on, please leave me your review down below and let me know what videos you wanna see from me next, please. I hear you about like perfume videos, stuff like that. I'm working on it. But that completes this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.